Okay, well, y'all, please tell us your name and your title from your internship. All right, my name is Michael Kimball, and I was a uh, student electrical engineering intern at uh, the Los Alamos National Laboratory. Um, and I'm Alec Miller. Um, my title was a uh, student statistician um, at Los Alamos. What did your day-to-day -day activities look like every day, or did it differ? Uh, well, it was just like uh, me working towards finishing like a particular goal. So, I mean, it could range. There would be like an off day where we would have like a particular meeting, kind of special meeting, meeting or something. But um, it really depended on what I had next in line to like, you know, towards finishing up my goal. Yeah, and uh, for me, it kind of depended on the day. So like a general week, we'd have um, one meeting with the people I was working together um, with day to day. Um, one day we'd have like a whole project meeting um, and then outside of that I was either working in a group or working by myself to um, help out the group. What would you say was your greatest takeaway from this experience? It was definitely all the like electrical engineering like uh, I guess just overall like experience I got exposed to I guess like I learned so many things that I probably would have like learned about until after I graduated or maybe even like later in my degree in total. Like it just helped me kind of get like a ahead of the game when it came to like electrical engineering. Nice. Yeah, I think Michael hit the nail on the head. Uh, just kind of gave confidence to my um, things that I'm doing. Um, but Glenn did a really good job of um, integrating like the project but also the disciplines that um, we're studying right now. Awesome. What was the most fun thing you did this summer at your internship? It was definitely all the different like student social like uh, get-togethers they had like planned for us. Helped me meet, like meet a lot of new people and it just helped me like uh, learn about New Mexico and the lab in general like a lot. Nice. Yeah um there's a lot of stuff that Lionel did that was um, really awesome for students. I think they have like a couple thousand students coming in each summer, so they have a lot of great programs. Um, there's a lot of stuff to do in northern New Mexico, um, so my wife and I really enjoy just hiking, fishing, or, or whatever on the weekends. How was the hiring process? Mm, it wasn't too bad. It did take a little minute just because they have so many people, you know, that they hire. So it took me like a couple of months to get a reply back. But when I did, like, uh, they, I, I could email them and they helped me, like, with every part of the way. Like, if I didn't know how to do something, they would help me, like, fill it out and all sorts of stuff. It, like, they're pretty responsive, like, you're, the people that you're um, in contact with. Yeah, I think between um, interview and, um, like, actually hiring, like, you're going to be working here this summer. It was about a month and a half for me. Um, but I've heard you know, a wide range of shorter or longer. Um, so I think it kind of just depends on who you get processing your paperwork. How was your experience with finding housing? I'd probably say that was the hardest part for me. Like um, housing, it's going to be more expensive over there in like the northern New Mexico kind of area. And when it comes to living in Los Alamos, that's in a whole nother story. If you're trying to live there, you gotta get it early. But for me, I lived in Santa Fe, which is an hour away. But I was able to find somewhere like relatively late, which worked out fine. But yeah, I mean, it wasn't too terrible at all, I would say. Yeah, we both got um, like kind of onboarded towards the end of the spring. So um, in a short timeline, we were able to find housing, but um, that is definitely the hardest part, um, all the interns kind of agree on that. Um, there's only so much space and a lot of people coming in, so um, if you get an early start on it, most people are able to find housing. How was orientation? It was pretty good, honestly. Like, it gave us a good little rundown of all we had to do, of all the different parts of like the lab that you had to go through to like get where you needed to be. And um, even after orientation ended, like it, everybody was able to like, I could ask anybody, and they would help me with like a question I had about the lab in the general area. Like, so I enjoyed it, the orientation part of it. 
yeah, I would agree with Michael. Um, they do a good job of doing like orientation, but everybody's jobs are so unique that um, you get mentors and stuff and people who kind of guide you along the process. What would you say your regular work schedule looks like this summer? Yeah, um, Lano gives most employees the option of um, their schedule that they work. Um, it probably depends on what status you are. There's a bunch of that stuff that I don't really understand, but um, I worked what's called a 980 schedule this summer. So um, one week I just work um, nine hours a day, Monday through Thursday, and then on Friday I work an eight hour day, but then the next week nine hours Monday through Thursday with Friday off. Um, so that was pretty great. Um, just gave a, a three day weekend every other week, so that was pretty cool. What is one piece of advice you would give someone looking to apply or work at Lano? I would definitely say to try your best to get there early, like get over there as soon as possible. Well, I guess to get an internship there early, just because like housing goes fast. And after a while, the only thing will be left will be like places that are like far away or like super expensive. So I mean, that's probably the biggest thing. But besides that, just to like uh, have fun when you get there, if you get the internship and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely, if anyone was looking um, or interested, I would encourage them if it's something they can swing. Um, it can be a big lift to go that far out um, if you're on the East Coast, um, but it's definitely worth it uh, just because of the amount of different um, disciplines they have there or different projects. Um, you're definitely going to find something that interests you or goes along with your major. Sorry. <laughs> would you say that there were any negatives to the internship this summer? Um, generally, no. But um, I would say it is a big shift going from, I guess, going to, you know, being in college classes to actually being in the workforce and working. Like it did kind of take me a little while to get used to, like the whole, you know, like eight hour shifts and all that. But I mean, I wouldn't say there are any particular negatives, I mean, which isn't really even a negative at all, but yeah. Yeah, I, I can't think of any specific negatives. Um, I know for a lot of people, kind of depending on where you're working, um, onboarding can be a longer process. Um, so if anything, it's probably that. Um, but day to day and overall, there weren't any negatives from the summer. Awesome, thank you all so much. Sure, no problem.